Okay, once again, we are multiplying two two-digit numbers using multiples of 10. But instead of using arrays, this time we are simply going to be multiplying by multiples of 10, that same rule that we used a few lessons ago. If you remember last time, um, in part one, we built or drew an array. We found partial products and we added them together. This is really doing the same thing, but using what looks like the standard algorithm. Okay, so we're going to set it up just like we're going to multiply using the standard algorithm. But the shortcut here is don't start multiplying by zero. Just think of this whole problem as 26 times 2. We're going to completely ignore that zero when we're multiplying, but we can't forget to, we can't ignore it in the answer. So before we do any multiplying, we'll write the zero down here because we're really going to be multiplying 26 times 20, not just 2. But multiplying by multiples of 20 and other numbers could be difficult in our heads, so we're going to forget about the zero when we multiply. When we get to multiplying, just think of it as 2 times 6. Well, that's 12. And like we did before with our single digit multiplication, we're going to carry over the digit on the tens column and write down the number in the ones column, although we're really carrying over the digit in the hundreds column and writing down the number in the tens column, but don't worry about that. Um, just think of it as 2 times 6 is 12. 12 is the answer. Confusing enough? Well, it's not really. Just keep it simple. Now we're going to multiply. We did the 2 times 6. Now we're going to do 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 that we carried. 4 plus 1 is 5. So we're going to write down the answer is 5. And so the product of 26 and 20 is 520. That's as hard as this one is.